Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Escape the Pacific. So in the last episode we just made landfall in the second cluster. And today I think we're going to go and head off and check out check out that island looks like the closest one so as you can see none of them are marked yet and this one's quite tiny so we'll go and check out that island I've loaded on the uh, the other chest that we got from here so let's get out in the water deep enough here maybe a bit further A bit of a sandbar. Yeah, we'll see. All right. So I'll hop on. Let's see if we. Yep, they're far enough out. So now, f from now on. Pretty much, I mean, there's no escape from the Pacific just yet. And from now on, pretty much most of everything is going to be a lot of what we've already covered. Um, so I'm not sure how much longer I'll take this series on. Uh, we might still explore this cluster. There are different islands that... Uh, you know, different island types that we haven't seen in this series just yet. Um, we've got the new ropes and new new crafting of the ropes and different materials to uh, to take a look at, and the new anchors. So I'll be taking a look at those. Uh, but typically, most of the loot and everything else that we pick up, nothing's really going to be too different. From uh, from what we've already already done, uh, but I guess what we'll do, we'll explore this cluster and we'll pick out a, a decent island, and we'll set up a proper base and you know get into some actual building on land and uh, see what we can come up with. But, uh, that looks like a big flat rocky sort of island over there anyway let's uh take a seat and speed up time a bit so sometimes i don't get the uh like usually when i'm doing fast time like this it says fast time up the top in red in the top right hand corner it doesn't always say it and it's not at this moment um, it still seems to work fine, but, uh, anyway, check this, this island out, it's got quite a few palm trees here, but, uh, now with the new, the new ropes that they've just added in, in, uh, 0.62, uh, the coconut fibers we can still use them to make ropes but they there are more options now for ropes so we picked up a uh, bush fiber in the last episode which you get from chopping down the bushes that used to give you nothing although it doesn't seem you always get them there's a, it's a bit of randomness uh, and there's also supposed to be vines that you can also get fibres from. And you can make ropes out of them. So. We'll, uh, we'll check that out. So. Cruise on up here. Got a bit of a clearing on this edge. So we'll just spin round over here. Bring down these sails. Get 
jump up. Drag it on board. Alrighty. Let's have a look. Got more seagull rocks. That's a tall palm. Alright. I'm going to break these campfires. It, uh, I'm not going to use it. And it adds to our dismantling skill. Got ourselves a crate here. And there's one of the new long ropes. Muddy water. Oil. Another tankard. Alright. Uh, we got more goodies over there. Let's uh, shove this over here we'll drop that seen some more stuff around the corner here got ourselves a shipwreck over there to dive uh, that's a crate that we can break down into planks got more fresh water run this through oh looks like we've got another ritual place here okay let's uh, pop this in there and we we'll need to make some more ropes to tie these things down This over here. Little baby tiny bananas growing there. Let's try some of these bushes. So I'm not sure if it's all types of bushes or only specific types. There we go, we got two out of that one. Is that a papaya? That is a papaya tree, we're not going to chop that one down. Got some more coconuts there. Alright, let's uh, keep going around. Got a mangrove here. Grab that salt. like all there is here there's some tall grass and apparently the tall grass can also be used now to uh, to make twine so they've changed the rope so the small rope is now twine we can still make it out of coconut fiber we can still make it out of hemp stems we can make it out of bush fiber which we just picked some up and we can make it out of tall grass rolls. And then we've got the strong rope is now just rope. We can make that using twine. Or we can make it using ivy stems. Now we haven't found any ivy yet. But we've also got a long rope which takes four normal ropes. And 
these are going to be used for making anchors so we'll get into that a bit later uh, this being a ritual place we're not going to set up a base here um, we'll have a look it's another papaya There's some fresh papayas, we'll grab those. So, uh, check our hunger and our thirst are okay. We'll eat one of them. Bring your vitamin C up. Alright, got bananas here too. So there's a bit here. Hemp. Alright, so let's uh, drop all this stuff off. Pop that excess salt in there. Um, let's grab some of this dried salmon off of here. some papaya on here and uh, that's salted this one's unsalted there's the bush fiber uh, salted unsalted bush fiber in here okay let's see nothing from that one nothing from that one or that one there's one trees in the way let's chop that out of the way alright collect up a few more there's one So it only takes two of these bush fibers to make a a twine. So I mean the twine is exactly the same as the small rope what it used to be. This one. So we are getting from, from different types of bushes, I think. It does seem to be rather random. Uh, don't have to chop up a coconut fifty times to uh, to get it. So I'll collect a bit up, make a couple of ropes, and I guess we will, uh, uh, maybe we'll try making an anchor, what do we need? So, there are three different types. So this is a small one, works best with canoes and small rafts. Um, and only in shallow water. Works best for small to medium sized rafts, medium to deep water. And works best with, with big rafts, with deep water, as long as the maximal rope length allows it. So, the, 
the deeper you want to anchor, the more long rope you have to add to it. Um, now, it can't be used out in the open sea. When they say deep, it's like, you know, like if you wanted to, to go out, anchor by a shipwreck or whatever. Um, but out on the open ocean, uh, we can't anchor. So, collect up a few more of these. And actually, I guess we should dive that wreck as well. Go have a look. So let's pop that in our bag. We'll drop that. Yeah, we'll drop that. Let's drop all these. Yes. So go have a look here. So this one does seem a bit deeper. Does seem quite large as well. Yeah, there's a crate there. Grab that. Looks like another crate down there. They'll carry this one up. Now, I believe we can find additional watches and sextants and compasses and stuff. Um, I have, have done in previous playthroughs in the second cluster. Another hammer. Yeah. Still haven't found a knife yet this playthrough. Or a machete. But uh we'll see, maybe there's one in the crate that's down here. Send set it there. There we go. That'll do it. And I don't see anything else. Take this back. All right, what have we got in here? Meh. Still no knife. So the search for a machete continues. I guess we'll carry these back. So we're going to need one, two, three, four ropes at least to uh, tie down that gear. Including this one. And we did, there was a strong rope in one of those chests that we picked up. So we might make ourselves an anchor. So, how much of this bush fiber have we got? Nine. So, grab ourselves another one. 
previous one. So let's see. Uh, alrighty. What's this one? That's the bush five one. Uh, let's cancel out of that. Tried to favourite that one. Alright. So. That one. enough for one rope so this still works the same although if we find ivy vines you can make a rope from one of those okay so we'll need a few more uh, let's have another look around and just see if we see any of these ivy vines around not seeing any so apparently you've got to chop them with a knife and if you chop them they'll be in a young state or a normal state and if you chop them while they're in a young state they won't grow back not seeing any but uh pick up a few more of these so, alright, um, so I'm going to collect up a bunch of these, I'll collect up that hemp, and I'll tie these down, but, uh, that is probably going to do it for this episode, so if you did enjoy this episode, uh, please leave me a like or a comment down below, and if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button, Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.